Hi. Hi, everybody. It is Sunday night. Happy day of the Lord. Um, Hope you felt God today. I am just sitting in bed, knitting away. I don't know what I'm knitting. I think I'm knitting a tank top. I go back and I watch my old vlogs constantly. Constantly. You know why? I like going back and being like, holy shit, Jasmine. Look at how much of a different person you are. Isn't that so cool? I'm vlogging regardless of how boring it is. You literally don't have to watch. But I'm starting the vlog tonight because I'm rewriting my own narrative. Who says you have to start a vlog in the morning? Literally no one. So I turned in my thesis on Friday. Whoa. Whoa. That was kind of a really big, huge deal. Did make me want to jump off of a cliff. Took over my entire life. So thank God that's over. Tomorrow morning, I am doing laundry and I'm cleaning the bathroom, my room, and my soul. I don't know if it's happening in the morning or the afternoon, but at some point I'm helping Tanner film something. And then at 12, I do have a final, it's in big quotation marks, and then I may or may not go to an open mic tomorrow night. So big day full of like everything I do ever tomorrow. Remind me to show you guys everything I've knit over the last like seven, eight months. I've knit a lot of shit. It is 1am. I need to go to bed. Sorry. Everybody be quiet, okay? It's sleepy time. Shh. Stop. Stop. Literally stop. Okay, if you're gonna be loud, please step out of the room. I still, to this day, think one of the funniest things that happened on TikTok was during the Robert Pattinson Batman movie and all the audios were like, something's in my ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, loving this angle because <laughs> I no longer have my little car vlogging set up because it broke. Bathroom is clean, laundry is happening. Oh my god, I almost hit somebody in their car. You know what I need to do? I need to clean my backup camera. Getting out the Windex, took a shower. I get the cleaning sweat. I don't know about you, but when I clean, I get really sweaty. I guess because I'm just scrubbing really hard. I don't know. Braided my hair. You know shit's going down when my hair is nice and tight and braided? Because that means that, oh, deer crossing. Deer crossing. LOL, we love to see it. You know when my hair is braided like this? It's gonna be a day. Uh, 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 let's go. My fucking period was over, but I just sneezed in the car. <laughs> a big fat building named after a big white man. And that's public education for you. Love to see it. Look who it is. Oh. Oh. What's up, dude? Didn't see you there. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? This is Nika. Everybody say hi, Nika. Hi, hi Nika. Oh, how I love being a woman. Hey. So, did my little final situation. Said hi to everybody I know in the dining hall, because that's my one opportunity to be social in my life, is to just be in the dining hall. And then I got struck with what I like to call the estrogen flu. And no, it's not your period. Yes, I am on my period, but the estrogen flu is different. The women flu. This is when, within seconds, you feel like you literally have the flu. You get the worst headache. Your throat starts to hurt. You could fall asleep instantly. Your muscles start to ache. All of a sudden, you feel like it's over for you. You will die. And the only way for it to make it 
go away is to lie in bed with the heating pad, not even because I have cramps, but to just cuddle with the heating pad, get in bed, stare at an iPad or any sort of screen for like 10 minutes, burp, and then good. So just got over the woman flu. Recovery's going really well. But it probably is my period too. But what a scary morning I had. I love oversharing on the internet. I was in the car. I was singing the 1975. I sneezed and then I remembered. Jasmine, you can't just decide that your period's over when it's not over. So then I went to the bathroom and I was like, well, what the fuck do I do? And Jasmine in high school would have been really disappointed in me because in high school, I kept a bag in my backpack with me every single day with like 17 tampons, 47 pads, and like six extra pairs of underwear. Did I get my period in high school? No, I didn't get my period till I was like, 20. It's a whole story. So I never ever ever got a chance to use my emergency bleeding coochie bag and now when I needed it most She wasn't there to save me. So what did I do? I threw away my underwear in the women's restroom shoved a tampon up there and called it a day So I had a really fun sensory experience this morning at school really fun textural moment for me if that was too much information then maybe my channel's not for you i did eat a piece of almond butter toast i'm drinking chamomile tea because the women flu hit really hard she said that i'm good enough okay well i'm gonna lie here until i feel great hi just got done with dance there was nothing to record. Dance is such a safe space, it doesn't go on the internet. Unless we're performing, it doesn't go on the internet. That room is a safe room. This was delicious. Like, delicious, delicious. Monk pack. Wow. It's like a kind bar, but it tasted like ice cream. Okay, here's the dealio, friends. Tanner has way more important stuff to work on today. We will not be filming tonight. That is okay. So what that means is I have time to go to open mic tonight. Open mic starts at seven. It's 517 right now. I have to be there at 630 to sign up and get on the list. But I also feel guilty not being productive because technically I have stuff to do for school, but it's not that important and I can do it tomorrow. <laughs> my therapist and my parents and one of my professors are all like, Jasmine, sit and do nothing. And then my other professors are like, get started on your capstone right now. So I'm kind of conflicted on like, should I spend the night being super productive or do I need to take the time and rest and do something fun? I think we all know the answer to this question. I'm just, I just feel guilty about it. I just feel guilty about having like a little bit of free time. Oh, I hate the world and how it works and makes me feel. Uh, but I feel guilty about going and like doing something fun right now. Like that's not how, uh, like I don't, that's not how the world works. Need to be working. Always do something not fun. Jasmine, you literally have nothing going on tomorrow. You can do your laundry tomorrow. You can do your school stuff tomorrow. Morally feeling very conflicted right now. I hate the world. Cause I'm like, okay, I could go to the library, get some books to read. But then I'm like, well, will you have time to read them? It's reading, if I get books from the library, then that's just another thing on my to-do list. It's like, to do, read the books that I got. To do, finish knitting the sweater. Like even those fun things get put on the to-do list in my head. So if I go Go get books then that's just more on my to-do list for spring break and i don't need more on my to-do list for spring break uh, i love the way my brain works me and her on such good terms she loves me and i love her we get along so well and we agree on everything okay i need to figure this out ah update i sat in my car and debated for 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes it was time to go anyways so i'm here she runs a full-time job and has support from her husband Derek. right she barely this girl boss barely opens her mouth right a real a real girl boss has anemia all my girlies who had to get iron transfusions over the summer heads up ladies whoa they think they know everything that was me acknowledging the mic. Um, <laughs> Joe said to do anything, and I was like, I'm gonna flash my tits. I'm gonna be with tits history month. I'm gonna be free the fucking nipple. Um, I recently started bringing 
sparkling water with me in the shower. It's been life changing. The nice condensation we've got going on the can really just is extra appetizing whilst you're mid exfoliation. Just give it a try. It might change your life like it has mine. <sighs> gang, 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 gang. All cleaned up and ready to go to bed. Go to bed. Edit this vlog. I just realized I've never given you guys a good tour of like my room and my situation I've got going on here. If you're a loyal subscriber, you would know that recently we moved. Our other house was a rental. And basically, I have like completely taken over the upstairs part of the house. Very grateful to have this space. This is like the upstairs like living room situation, but I've sectioned it off with curtains so I can have privacy because I'm a teenage girl. I'm 21. This is my crib. And then right there is my room. My room is pretty small. So this is like where I do everything. And then in there is literally, I mean, you've seen it. It's just my bed and my closet. Like that's it. We have the curtain here. I've painted this like swirly situation around the whole room, which is super fun. I did film a whole video doing that. And then when I went to go edit it, I realized my mic wasn't recording the whole time. So you'll never get to see that. We have my wonderful posters that Tanner has given me. Tanner works at the TV station, so he gets all these cringy posters and I want all of them. We have this couch that I got on Facebook Marketplace for like zero dollars. And then we have my big box of yarn and then just chaos. Chaos. My heater, cause it's freezing and my room is in there. So lots of really fun, very cool stuff happening in here. Very grateful. Need to make that very clear. So yeah, all of the stuff is just stuff we had in our house anyways, and it's just congregated in here. It would have been in a living room. It's in here. Jasmataz headquarters. Yeah. Vlogging brought me so much joy today. Definitely think I will be vlogging more. So just stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for all the vlogs that I'm gonna promise and then not vlog. So um, just stay tuned for nothing, basically. Um, I'm gonna edit this. Hey guys, it's jasmataz at gmail.com. My camera cut out. Okay, that's it.